All right, I'd like to go over a uh, just a brief demonstration on how to build a 30 seat lab with the VMware View desktop. I'm logging into the VMware View administrator. And in here, I'm going to select pools. I'm going to add to the pool. I'm going to create automated pool. I'm going to do floating. I'm going to use uh, View Composer Link Clone. Uh, for the ID, I just want to use a continuous uh, word and name, no spaces. And for the display is where uh, you'll see when a client logs in, it'll pretty much give a description of the desktop they want to connect to. Um, power action, I'm going to leave the desktop always powered on. We'll get the default back. Naming pattern, I'll use view demo. And I'm going to build 30 systems. I'll put 30 in for both fields. I'm going to browse. Um, I have predefined images that I call the quote gold image. I'm going to use one of my master lab images. You see roughly about five or six revisions I've taken since uh, the original build. Let's select one of them. I'm going to default to any one of these folders. I'm going to find an empty host. I'm going to find the host I called VS6, Virtual System 6. And again, the resource pool I'm going to use is associated with the uh, VS6 host. And I'm not going to use my NetApp. I'm just going to use local dedicated disk to the server for this because it's a lab. I can uh, delete it and retract it anytime. Um, this is all pretty much default with my username and finish I'm going to go to the vSphere client and again I have somewhat of a semi-large environment I'm going to scroll down to um, the S6 which really has nothing on it but the interesting part and what I'm trying to illustrate is how rapidly uh, this will grow once the image is cloned to the replica that you see sitting there. And over the next couple of minutes, we'll watch this environment uh, pretty much uh, take a life of its own. And you'll see on the left-hand pane, uh, 30 Windows uh, thirty Windows 7 uh, systems being built. And in this case, it's being built quite rapidly. I did edit the video to pretty much uh, time lapse it. But um, you'd be bored watching this for a half hour. The uh, unique features, you know, with the uh, tasks going on on the bottom. Um, actually, on the right hand side, you can see the resources, the memory will start increasing as these systems come online. Um, it really is an amazing process. Um, and very reliable. I'm really a big fan of uh, deploying desktops this way. And again, uh, these systems work extremely well. And it is a rock solid solution. I'll let these build uh, a couple minutes. But again, the, the ultimate goal at the end of the video, I just show you that, um, you know, we'll just maybe look at the first system. And I would go to the console on the right hand view pane and show you that um, the system is pretty much ready to be logged into. Um, you'll see it's a Windows 7 system. And we'll let this go a minute or so. Let me just watch it.
And again, you'll see in the bottom pane where it says uh, tasks, you'll see it's uh, taken systems, it reconfigures it, I guess, as it, uh, you know, uh, pretty much clones parts of these systems to actually make it a physical system individualized um, compared to the original image. It's moving along quite nicely. And again, I'm just creating this uh, demo just to illustrate um, how rapidly we can build a lab. Um, in my opinion, this is a great way to go for managing systems. Um, especially from one image. Okay.